Whether you're just starting your network marketing business or you're a veteran leader, it's critical to have a simple to follow plan to launch your new business or help new builders stay on track when they launch. In fact, Palo Alto Software did a study that confirmed those who did a business plan were twice as likely to grow their businesses. We knew it would be easier for you to onboard new builders if you had a simple plan that was already done and ready to go to give your builders once they joined your team. So after studying many top leaders' plans and drawing from my own experience building a business, I and the team created the YFP Business Blueprint. And the blueprint is broken into three parts. Your vision, purpose, and goals, your action plan, and how you'll implement that plan. In this video, I'll talk about part one, creating your vision. Hi, if we haven't met yet, my name is Jody Stieg, and I was eight years old when my parents started their network marketing business back in 1981. I started building my own network marketing business offline, and then in 2005, I started to use the internet to build. I now focus on helping network marketers build online so their business doesn't turn into a job. Using the educational tools, training, and strategies that we offer here at YFP. If you're new to our channel, get subscribed and click on the bell to get notified when we release new videos and free resources to help your business. Creating your vision starts with you defining your purpose or your why. Basically, why are you doing this and what do you want from it? What are the goals you want this business to help you achieve? There are so many things in life vying for your time and attention that if you're not clear on your goals and your why, you'll find it hard to do when you run into challenging times. Setting goals helps trigger new behaviors, gives you focus and direction, and guides you. It is the first step in turning the invisible into the visible. So let's listen to top leader, Angel Torres, who's built a fantastic business with hundreds of business leaders. And he's gonna teach some simple strategies that can improve your chances of you achieving those goals from 10% to 95%. Hello, Freedom Family. This is Angel Torres, Lifetime Master Coordinator from Puerto Rico, where I live with my wife, Evelyn, and my three daughters and my grandkids. And I like to start with a quote from Bob Proctor, uh, where he says, you can live 30 years or you can live the same year 30 times. And I'm reading that quote because not because of you, I know you all, you know, you're here. So that means that you're looking for something better. But there are many people out there that, as you and I know, they live their, their every year over and over and over. So in the next few minutes, I'd like to talk about one of my favorite topics, which is goal setting. Now, the question is, why is it my favorite? Because I see it as the beginning. I see it as the first step. Actually, I see it as our GPS. It tells us where to go and how to get there. I'm also going to share with you four uh, steps to increase the possibilities to reach your goal and get them from 10% all the way to 95%. I'm sure you will love that one. So before I do that, uh, let me share with you a little bit of my story. Uh, prior to Shackley, I was a college professor working two jobs. And uh, my wife, Evelyn, was a student at the time. And uh, we, we both learned about Shackley, uh, you know, all the great products and had great experience using the products. And uh, my upline, uh, you know, he did a great job of following up and he used to call me like once or twice a week. And uh, at one point he mailed me, this was uh, over 35 years ago, he mailed me uh, a letter that had a check uh, from one of our top master coordinator uh, named uh, Holker. And the check was for over $40,000 for a month. And, and, and I said to my wife, uh, you know, let's take this seriously. And we sat down and we started setting goals. And uh, I remember uh, something funny that happened. Uh, you know, I started writing down. I took it very serious. 
And uh, I wrote down, you know, the type of home that I wanted to leave uh, with a swimming pool, a gym, and, you know, all the things that I wanted. And when I showed it to my wife, uh, her reaction was, what do you think? I mean, you must be dreaming. <laughs> and I said, exactly. That's what the training said, that we need to dream. We need to dare to dream so that we can accomplish everything that we write down. So, uh, yeah, we were dreaming, both of us, and uh, we created a dream board. And it's interesting because, you know, uh, we had our three daughters and they saw over, uh, uh, you know, over their time at our home when they were kids that we used to set goals and create a dream board. And they used to see the dream board. And for example, you know, we would have photos of Hawaii and then they would go with, uh, with us to Hawaii and they, they, you know, they could see that everything that we set to achieve, we did achieve. And, and today my daughters are professionals, they're adults, of course, and, uh, and they continue to set goals and have dream boards and things like that. Actually, there's a story of one of my daughters that uh, she had her dream board and she was living in, a, in an apartment, but she wanted to move to a home. And she found a photo of a beautiful home. She put her on the dream board. And then for some reason, the dream board, you know, she disappeared and she bought the home. And when she started getting everything to move to this new home, she found the dream board and she sat on her bed and called me and she was crying. And she said, dad, I have to share this with somebody and I want to share it with you. And then she told me that she found that dream board and the home that she bought was exactly the same as the one that she had on the dream board. So my friends, you think I believe in goal setting? Of course I do. Do you think I believe in, in goal charts? Of course I believe because I have used it and many, many other people have used it. Actually, uh, there, there's a story uh, that I also want to share with you. Uh, I started teaching other people about set goal setting and things like that. And I remember one time I was doing a seminar and uh, we finished and part of the seminar was goal setting and dreams and you know, visualization and things like that. And then that day, uh, uh, it was like over 10 o'clock at night, I received a phone call and it was one of the participants. He had never set goals before, had never done a visualization. Uh, 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 you know, he has never done visualization uh, on goals. And he called me and he was scared. I said, what's going on? His name is Angel, like me, Angel. And, uh, and he said, oh, no, you're not going to believe this, man. You know, I set a goal of a new car and, uh, and, and I closed my eyes and I was visualizing. And then all of a sudden, I felt the smell of the new car. And I opened my eyes and I was all scared and I decided to call you. I apologize. I said, no, you don't need to apologize. I know exactly what you're doing. You, you're using all your senses. So, you know, man, that car is going to be a reality because you're, you're dreaming and you're putting all your senses to work. And, you know, of course, he, he uh, made that goal a reality and he got his new car. And, you know, we always talk about it. Uh, you know, when we decided to uh, to create, to build our business. Uh, there is a story that I, I also want to share with you. you know, this is a storytelling business, of course. Uh, there was this lady that, uh, that uh, you know, we, uh, there's a lady that invited us to be a speaker to her group, to her team. And, um, it's interesting because uh, at the end, they invited us to have dinner with them. And this lady said to me, you know, I understand that you're excited about Shackley and that you want to become master coordinator. But let me tell you the truth. You know, this is a very small island. And I don't think anyone can become master coordinator in Puerto Rico. And that really got me down at the moment, but not for a long time. When I went back home that night, I started writing little uh, cards 
uh, with the name uh, Evelyn and Angel Torres, first master coordinators in Puerto Rico. And I put it everywhere in the home. I put it in the refrigerator. If you would go to the bathroom, there would be one on the top. Uh, when you lift the top uh, of the toilet, there was another one on the other side. When he sat down on the toilet, there was one in front of me. And uh, all over, even, you know, when I went to bed, there was one in the ceiling. And when I woke up, there was one thing in the ceiling. So I put it all over in my car everywhere. And you know what? When we became master coordinator, Shaki put it in a magazine that they used to have at that time. And it said exactly the same thing. Evelyn and Angel Torres, first master coordinators in Puerto Rico. I hope that with all the stories that I have shared with you, I have, uh, you know, really not convince you, that you convince yourself of the importance of setting goals. And, uh, you know, the, the other part that I don't want you to miss is the importance of not only learning how to set goals, but also teaching other people, because the reality is 90% of the people out there, they live the same year over and over and over every single year, okay? So we need to have a goal achievement system so that you can increase the possibilities of getting the possibility of reaching your goals from 10% to 65% to 25%, 65% and 95%. And that's what I'm about to share with you right now. And this is not me telling you about, you know, the possibilities and the percentage and all of that. Uh, there, there's some research done about what I'm going to share with you now. So uh, 10 percenters and I know that you're not there because, you know, we shocky people would go beyond the 10%. But you must have heard, you know, people like Jim Ron and all the, you know, great speakers uh, said that, uh, you know, even if you just write down your goal and put it in a drawer on your desk, uh, just by writing it down, it can make happen. I mean, uh, there are stories of people that wrote their goal and put it in the drawer in the, in the desk. And then a year later, they came back and it was done. Well, you know, you got to know that those, that group, it's only 10% that make that happen. But you don't want to stay there. You want to go to the 25% group. The 25% of the group are the people that make a conscious commitment to, uh, with yourself. Not with anyone right now, but with yourself. Make a 100% commitment that you are going to make, to make it. And, and you're willing to follow the instructions, you know, because many times we know what we need to do, but sometimes we skip uh, steps. And when you skip one step, then it motivates you to skip another and another. And then by the end of the year, you're not doing what you were supposed to do. Like if you want to build a shaky business, you know that you got to use the products, you got to share the products, and then you have to multiply. Okay? Develop business leaders. So, if you skip using the products, the other two steps are not going to work because, you know, selling is a transfer of excitement. And if you're not using the products, it's very hard to sell other people to do what you're asking them to do. So don't skip any step and, uh, and, and, and you know, just do every single step that you commit yourself to do. So that's step number one. And of course, you know, you need to celebrate every single uh, every single step that you achieve, it's important that you celebrate, okay? And I mean celebrate, you know, it might be just go out and eat some ice cream or go to lunch or go to dinner. It depends on the size of the goal, then celebrate big, big time so that, so that you, your, your subconscious, you know, it's aware and, they, and your subconscious is going to say, wow, if it's celebrating this big, I'm going to help him do more. And, and it will get you to accomplish a lot more. So make sure that celebration comes up, okay? So because, you know, I already talked about the 10 percenters are the one who just write it down and that's it. The 25 percenters, the one that write it down, but they make a commitment with themselves. And then let's go to step three, which is the ones that take it to the 65% uh, of the people that accomplish their goals. And that's when you commit to someone else. Someone uh, that you're going to tell that you are committed 100%, someone or maybe a group of people that you respect and, and, and some people that, that you don't want to let them down. 
So you go to them and you share with them. Uh, it could be one person, it could be a group, and you tell them exactly what you're going to do, and you tell them, I'm 100% committed to doing this. So that simple step will take you to 65% of the possibility of accomplishing your goal. And last but not least, and you know, there's a lot more information, of course, but last but not least is to take it to the 95%. And to do that, you need to have a specific accountability appointment with a mentor. You need to find a mentor. And when I talk about mentors, I, I always need to make sure and make the clarification that, you know, it's important to have one mentor. Uh, you can hear other people here and there, but it's important to have just one mentor because many people have many mentors and then they, they get confused, you know, should I do this or should I do that? So make sure that you select the right person to mentor you and then have an accountability appointment every single week with that person, someone that you respect. And, and when you meet with this uh, person, make sure that it's not like an hour. Uh, could be maybe 10, 15 minutes, at the most 20 minutes. And you tell them, you know, uh, what you did and then uh, what, what, or what are the next steps, what you're going to do. And then in the next meeting, you tell them what you're doing. If you have questions, you know, that's their, their mentor, mentors. So, you know, they get to share with you uh, some uh, ideas on how to improve, how to do much better, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, those four steps, and, and again, there's more to each one of those steps, but again, is, you know, uh, the 10 percenters are the one who just write it down and, you know, they put it somewhere. Uh, the, the 25 percenters are the one that make a strong commitment with themselves. The 65 percent is the one that commit in front of other people, maybe one person that they respect or a group of people. And then the 95 percenters are the one that find uh, a person they respect, a mentor and have an accountability appointment uh, every single week uh, during the entire year. Now, one last thought before I, I, uh, I finish. Uh, you know, I, I like to remember to remind you, because I know most of you know this, that a journey of a thousand steps begin with first with uh, first one with the first one. Let me say that again. A journey of a thousand steps begin with the first one. So make sure that you know if you have big goals uh, that you don't try. I mean, identify it and say this is what I'm going to do by this date. It could be by December or it could be whenever you know in three years or whatever. Now you take that goal and divide it into, let's say that it's for a year, December. So you take that goal and divide it into the 12 months of the year and you go step by step, okay? So that you don't go for the big one right from the beginning. You go from the step that will take you to uh, where you wanna go. And you know, it doesn't matter where you are today. You might have tried to set goals and accomplish them and maybe you have quote unquote, fail, uh, forget about that. Forget about the past. It's not where you are. It's the steps that you're going to take now to set goals and, and create a new path to get you where you want to be. I hope this helps. So thank you very much. And uh, thanks for the opportunity. Have a great year and lots of success to you. So thank you, Angel, for sharing those success tips. I hope you'll power up your chances of achieving your goals by creating a vivid vision of the dream future that you have in mind, and then committing to it, sharing it with others, and working with a mentor to help you get there, just like Angel teaches. If you'd love to watch his whole goal setting segment, I encourage you to watch our YFP202 Business Blueprint webcast replay. In the replay, You'll also be able to watch Tony Banner, who gave a fabulous presentation teaching how to create vivid visions with the dream board. And I'll drop a link to the Business Blueprint replay in the description below this video. So did you get some value from this episode? Consider subscribing and then share this video with your team. And I'll see you in the next video here in YFP 202.